In this video, I want to show you how you can get a bot to bet on your set of selections. This can be useful if you have some matches that you want to place bets on closer to kickoff or closer to the start of a race, but you want to make all your selections at one time in the morning and then leave your computer and let it bet automatically for you. Or if you have a bot set up to do specific actions in play, for example, hedge out if you can make a certain amount of profit and you don't want to sit in front of your computer doing that each time, you can just select which matches you want it to do that for and send those selections to one particular bot. Or you may have a set of football fixtures that you want to apply a lay the draw bot system to. There are many ways in which you may have your own selections, but you don't want to sit in front of your computer all day waiting for the right moments to come up. In this way, you can automate it with the BF Bot Manager. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. The BF Bot Manager itself comes with a few example strategies. If you cannot see the example strategies, just click on Restore Examples and they will come back up. When making bots that are going to bet on a set of selections that you are going to select yourself, I recommend using the Bet on All Imported Tips Example Bot Strategy. Duplicate that and make it into the bot you want. So to duplicate, make sure you deselect all strategies, click on the strategy you want to duplicate, and then click duplicate that strategy. So we're going to use this one. And for example, say, say I have a set of football tips or football matches I want to bet on, but I don't want to bet on now. I want to bet on the price closer to kickoff. So I'm going to call this, this bot football one tips or something. And the reason why I use the bet on all imported tips example bot and duplicate that is because, is because the key point is in the staking rule, the bet on imported selections and tips. This is where we are going to tell the bot which set of selections I want it to bet on. And in this case, I'm not importing tips from outside anywhere. I'm creating a set of tips inside the BF Bot Manager. In the description, it's always helpful to write down what your bot is doing in case you come, you forget about it and come back to it later. So let's say this one is bet on my football tips five minutes before kickoff. That's all I want it to do. So then I can, I can select all my bets in the morning and then it will wait until five minutes before kickoff for all the matches and I will get those odds, which I'm, which some people may think are, are fair odds or better odds. So how do we link it? Step one. Go into your market screen and find the games that you want to bet on. If you can't read the name fully, you can actually make this bigger. Let's say that I'm very, very sure about this Jagiellonia Bialstok match. This is one where I want to back the home team, but the odds right now are not very good. So I want to wait until five minutes before kickoff. So I'm going to click my on the my selections checkbox here. So I've got one selection now I'm going to add. I got a few more matches I want to bet on tonight. I'm very sure that the Watford under 21 team, they're going to win. Very sure about them. But their odds are not very good right now. So I want to wait until five minutes before kickoff to bet on that game. Uh, later on the day, very sure about Rio Ave under 23. That's going to be a draw. And actually, I think there's going to be, that's probably going to be a draw and under 1.5 goals, probably nil nil there. So. So I've got a few selections there. So all of the ga all of the matches, the selections, all the selections I want to bet on, and they don't even have to be all the same bet. They can be draws, home wins, away wins. I could even put horses there if I wanted to. They are all now selected with my selections. And you can see in the my selections column as well, those the matches I've selected have come up there. When you've chosen your selections, you want to click Move My S to Manage Tips Form. This means it will move all the selections that I've just picked now by using my S to the manage tips form. When I click on that, it will ask me enter a tipster provider name. So this is the most important bit. You have to make sure you spell this exactly the same here and in the bet on the bet on imported tips rule in the bot itself. So I'm going to call this football one. So these are my football one tips. And then I'm going to make sure this tick box is selected. So that means after I click OK, it will deselect all those selections I've just made now. So I won't have to manually deselect them all myself again. So make sure that's selected. So then I click OK. And now you can see it's been deselected. That's good. And then if I go to Bots and Strategies, Manage Tips, we can see those tips have now appeared here as Football One Tipster Provider. Then back in this bot, 
and I want this bot to bet on those tips, I go to the bet all on all imported tips and selections, and I type in football one, and so this is going to, and then I click save. So now this bot will bet on those selections and only those selections. Great. And like I said before, I want it to bet five minutes before the match starts, only if the market has valid prices with the back and lay price ratio and the over rounds. And make sure it's set up to the staking level you want it to bet on. And that is going to place bets on those selections I've made. And then, for example, if I had another bot, I'm just going to duplicate, I'm going to duplicate it again. Let's say I had a horses or horses bot. I could, I could go back into here and I could select some different horse races and say, oh yeah, that number two, just Jado, he's going to win. And uh, Patsy Valentine, that one's going to win. And again, I can click on move my S to manage tips form, give it a name, call it horses one. And then I can go, the, and then those tips have appeared now in my form here as horses one. And just make sure you edit your bet on imported selections tips form to have the right tips to name. And then you could add whatever rules, like maybe I wanted, maybe I wanted to add a hedge rule and say, okay, if it can make profit, if it can make 20% of the profit, profitable profit, I want it to trade out. So I've picked some horses I think will get into the lead, their price will go, will go down. I can trade out even if they don't end up winning the race. So you can start to build different bot systems that will bet on your selections. One thing to remember is that you can't, if you want different bots to bet on the same set of tips, you can't do that. Tips can only be bet on once. So for example, if I, if I wanted two bots to bet on my football one tips and I want one of the football, I want one of them to just bet five minutes before kickoff and I want the other one to ask for better odds, to, to ask for the, for the current odds plus five ticks or something. Um, and apply two different systems. I couldn't do that just by duplicating this system. There's two possible ways I could do that. If I have two sets trying to bet on the, if I have two bots trying to bet on the same tips, one way you can do it is, for example, say I've got some, I've got football matches. Say I've got, I want to bet on this team at home, and under 1.5, and under 2.5. I've got these three selections. And I want to apply this not just to, I, I want two bots to bet on this. One easy way to do it is just make two sets with two different names. The first time, unclick this box so that it won't delete the selections you've just made. So this will send it once as football one. And then I want to send it again as football two. But this time I don't need the selections anymore, so it can delete those. So it should be football with an L. And then I will have the exact same tips appear now with two different names. And then I can create, I can duplicate this bot and just make sure it's using, it's going for the different football tips there. And then I have two different bots basing on the same tips. I've just given them different names. Another way to do this so that you don't have to do multiple sets of tips with different, with the diff, with the same tips, but with different names. Another way to do it is instead of having the second bot looking for a set of tips, we delete that. And instead we use something called, uh, we use a rule called only if specified strategy has bets on the same selection. This is a selection condition. So here um, I choose the bot football one tips. I add that here and I tell it, Okay, this bot number two that's going to bet on the exact same bets, this bot number two will only bet if this bot has bets on the same selection that are matched or unmatched, uh, that are on the same market that are back bets. So make sure you've got these one, two, three, four things set up there. Sorry, you've got a name as well. One, two, three, four, five things set up there. Click save. And what that means is that once the football one bot places a bet, football two will also place a bet on the same selections. It's copying what football one is doing. And then if I do that, I don't need to make multiple versions, multiple sets of tips. 
So there's two ways you can get bots to bet on the same set of tips. You can either make multiple versions of the same set of tips with a different name, or you can have a like a main bot and then other bots that copy the bets of the first bot. OK, but the main point of today's video is how can you make the bot bet on your sets of selections? You can do it by going to the market screen, clicking the checkboxes on my S, clicking move my S to manage tips form, give it a name and then using a duplicate version of bet on all imported tips and adding that tip set name into the bet on tips and my selections rule. And then in this way, you can set up all your bets at the start of the day and then leave your computer and it will do what you want it to do automatically. And you can get your time back and not waste it sitting in front of a computer all day. And that's what automation should be about. And that's what a working betting system should be about. It should be giving you time back, not making you sit in front of a computer all day. So that's how you make the bot bet on my sets of selections. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And if you want other videos made about the BFBet Manager, ask a question in the comments and I'll try and make a video about it. And if you're interested in what my betting system is and my recommended betting tools, please come and take a look at my website, bettingsystemsguide.com, and you can see the different methods that I'm using and the way that I automate my betting. So I only need to spend about five, 10 minutes a day just checking up on my systems each day. Thank you for watching.